fellow frugal penny pinchers. Today I would like to tackle an issue that's really close to my heart. I've only just recently heard another report about how much food there is actually going to waste in Australia just because people buy too much, uh, a lot more than they need or they buy stuff and then they put it in the fridge and they don't use it straight away and then it just gets all wilted and then it's no longer appealing and then it gets thrown out and with so many people both here in Australia and internationally homeless or in refugee camps or just in, in areas, be it Africa, be it somewhere, where food is just really scarce, it, it, yeah, it, I find it really, really hard to deal with that uh, someone would even not make the most of their, the food that they buy, whether they can afford it or not. It's, it's just not something we should do lightheartedly, I think. So, because I not only hate waste, but also, of course, I don't want to waste any money. Um, meaning that if I have, I have very little income, and so for me, the little money that I have, I want to always know that I get the most bang for my buck. So for me, buying something and then not using it and throwing it out, is a complete no-no because I might as well save myself the trip to the shops and flush the money down the toilet. It's not happening. So admittedly, I'm a single household, so I don't have to uh, like think and shop for a family, which would be a lot more difficult. I can't even put my head around that. But so for myself, and I hope that, you know, a lot of students that see that or other single pensioners or whatever, hopefully you get something out of this. Now, so for starters, I'm always flabbergasted by people buying uh, ingredients according to a recipe. So they say like, well, today or tomorrow I want to cook blah, and I shop these ingredients, and they may be completely out of season and therefore excessively expensive. For me, it's exactly the other way around. I am very blessed here in Adelaide. I live close to a very, very uh, fantastic central market, fresh fruit and um, veg market. And so I go through there and um, I will only buy what's in season because that's the cheapest. And of course, here's a tip. Uh, so our market shuts at uh, Saturday at two o'clock. So if I go there the hour before, that's when they sell off a lot of stuff, even cheaper, because they don't want to cart it back um, to, their, to their storehouse or whatever. So there's another way to save a couple of pennies and dollars. So anyway, um, I walk around and, you know, whatever is in season and therefore cheap, that's what I buy. And I choose my dishes according to that, not the other way around. So anyway, um, then also uh, to keep things fresh as long as possible, I'm choosing this wonderful cauliflower today. So a lot of people would just put that in the fridge as it is. Well, that'll last you a day and then it'll probably go all like it starts to get brown and it starts to get really crinkly and starts to get dry and everything. So for starters, very, very important to know with any, um, any fruit and veg really, you want to remove the leaves because the leaves still absorb or draw moisture which is being drawn away from the main the main uh, product that you want to have so you want to get rid of the um the leaves that could be i'm, I'm not sure if oh God, i can't think of anything now anything that has leaves or greens you really want to try to get rid of it and uh, because that just um, uh, conserves any moisture in the actual thing that you want to uh, consume. So, and here's a trick that not a lot of people know, and I find it so, so valuable. So, especially with cauliflower, it's a lot easier with uh, broccoli, obviously, because you don't have to cut away the leaves, you just cut the stem. But, one trick to really sort of make your cauliflower last a bit longer and keep it nice and fresh is you want to, sorry, I should, should do that this way. So try to get your, your knife in there, but not so far that you actually stab the cauliflower, just enough to cut off the, 
the green leaves and it doesn't have to be like super you know tidy it really doesn't matter the only thing that uh, so just there just to get the green stuff off that draws the moisture and so now this is the important bit a lot of people cut that off no don't so keep this stem oops and um, so then cut that bit off here so you actually have fresh cut surface here and this is basically like the, the stem of a flower and so now you fill a I find like a, a, um, a vessel like this which is wide in the base and pretty sturdy so not a glass with very thin wall or anything and it's still high enough and you put that in there like a flower in a vase and so now it can actually draw the water and it'll keep like really really nice and it can um, keep for about two three days in the fridge before excuse me before it starts like getting like a sort of a couple of freckles there and then it should really be eaten so and also just one more um, one more tip is that when people people they they use half a zucchini half a capsicum or bell pepper in the US or like half of anything uh, and then the rest goes back in the fridge and guess what it gets all wilted and all soft and everything and it's no good because it loses all the vitamins so when you've got onion whatever it is don't use just half of a piece use the lot really like it shouldn't really matter if you have a little bit more it's better if you save what you know if, you, if you've cooked it extra and you really can't like eat it or like not not distribute it to any um, to any other dishes and rather save that and keep it in a little um, Tupperware container with the lid on so there is no air getting to it because only then will you preserve the vitamins if you have half a zucchini in there half an onion God knows what and you've, you've just you just chuck it in the fridge and it's open and the air gets to it it oxidizes and all the vitamins get destroyed might as well eat a packet of pepper tissues it's it's exactly the same it has no nutrition anymore so um, try to keep your fruit and vegetables as fresh as possible by either like keeping them like um, you know so well moisturized or to use them as the whole piece and rather if you really can't if you really think it's too much for you to eat then put it in a little Tupperware container save it use it with the next dish just put it in there because at least then you're saving some of the, the vitamins and uh, you're not wasting it and throwing it out that's it's just yeah in this day and age it's irresponsible so thank you and I hope you have learned a little bit and you will be able to make much better use of your fruit and veg and not waste as much anymore bye